everybody. Today, I am thrilled to show you the Happy Dotting Company's brand new number five mold. Oh my gosh, check out the new look, you guys. Isn't it cool? No more legs on these molds. I am so thrilled. Let me show you a little more about it. The all new design of this number five mold made it so easy to get my fingers in there and tap, tap, tap those bowls out. I was so excited. No more legs to contend with but it's good and reinforced, so we're not gonna lose any of that smooth, rounded surface that we all know and love and trust from the Happy Dotting Company. Look how much bigger this is than the number four. Holy smokes, you guys. Now, I'm not getting rid of my number four. You know that is still one of my favorites, but when I'm feeling extra creative, oh yeah, we're going here. All right, I have waited days for this thing to dry so that I can finally paint it. So no more talking, let's get into it. Let's use the super flex stencil to get our guidelines. <clears throat> That's right, it still works. Yeah. Now that I have my guidelines down, I can remove that center marker. Oh, I absolutely cherish it. Without it, I'd be completely lost. Fortunately, it's really easy just to pop off, but completely optional. You can leave it right there if you want to. Since I have all this extra space on this stone, I want to put a great big dot in the center, but y'all know I absolutely stink at hitting the middle when I'm trying to use a big dot. So I'm going to use my compass and I'm going to put it about half the distance of this big dotting tool and make myself a circle in the middle. I'm thinking that'll give me something to aim at. It seems to work every time. It looks like a target to me. Let's see if I can hit it. totally work. Now I'm going to match the color of this mold and let it be the theme of this mandala. Here we go. gosh, I just put it right back in the same spot. Have y'all ever done that? Oh, well, you know what? It lives there now. We're going to move on. I love it.
All right, so this is where I'd be if we were using a number four mold. Would you guys look at all this extra real estate? Seriously, I feel like I hit the jackpot when it comes to surface area. I know I sound silly, but I'm really, really that excited about this. Now from your view looking down, it maybe doesn't look like I have that much room, but try to remember this stone is curved towards the bottom. So all of this gold work you see right here, I'm about to double it. I'm gonna flip it right over and make a mirror image. I have a feeling this is gonna be so beautiful, mostly because I already did it in my mandala brainstorm. Let me show you how it worked out.
Oh, you guys, I cannot say enough wonderful things about this new number five mold from Happy Dotting Company. I finally have the space to get a little more creative with my mandala art. I cannot wait to see what we all come up with with all of this extra room. Y'all could probably tell I'm a huge fan of Happy Dotting Company. I only use their molds on my rocks. I love those super flex stencils, especially that number three dome template. Ugh. And I use their acrylic rods in every one of my videos. You guys, I cannot recommend Happy Dotting Company enough. I hope you all head over to happydottingcompany.com and load up on those products. I believe that good people deserve good things. Let's show them some good business. Until next time, rock on.